Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Khair Palace, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Red Crescent Society, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and board members on the occasion of forming the new board where His Majesty congratulated them and wished them success. His Majesty stressed the Kingdom's keenness on pursuing charity work and praised the Society's initiatives in the humanitarian field, which reflects Bahraini's values of coexistence derived from Islamic principles and Bahraini traditions. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the board members and chairman for their efforts in achieving the noble goals of the Society and praised their role in spreading the culture of volunteerism. His Majesty then praised the efforts of the late Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa and his contribution in involving the Red Crescent Society on the regional and international levels and also praised the efforts of the former members. Board member Taqil Bahana presented His Majesty with a number of his publications where he was praised by His Majesty. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm reception. He praised the support of His Majesty and affirmed that it motivated to the progress of the society throughout the years, which made it a pioneering society on the regional and international levels. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting and Secretary General Yasser al-Nasser delivered the following statements. The cabinet approved a mechanism to follow up on the plans and programs set by ministries and government bodies supervised by the Prime Minister's court to ensure meeting the goals of the government's action plan of 2019 to 2022. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak delegated ministries and government bodies to submit periodic memos to the cabinet on the updates and stages of each project. The cabinet then condemned the terrorist act of the Houthi militias after targeting Abhaz International Airport in Saudi Arabia, stressing that this crime violates all international rules and regulations. The cabinet stressed Bahrain's firm stance towards Saudi Arabia and its full support to the brotherly country, calling the international community to combat these attacks that threatens both security and stability of countries. The cabinet also condemned the two attacks that targeted oil carriers in Oman seas, which from the serious form a serious threat on the security and stability of the region as well as affect the international navigation. The cabinet called on the international community to provide protection for the navigation process in the region and maintain security and stability. The cabinet directed ministries and government bodies to enhance investments presented by clubs and youth centers in order to achieve further progress in the youth and sports sector. The cabinet highlighted the positive results of the kingdom's economy in the first quarter of 2019 through a report presented by the Minister of Finance and National Economy, which affirms that the kingdom is moving in line with the budget balance program supported by plans, strategies and initiatives. The Minister of Forks, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning presented a report on implementing the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister regarding completing the, service, the services needed in the new blocks of Zalag following the proposal of the Representatives Council. 
The cabinet then presented a report to the Financial Action Task Force and the MENA Financial Action Task Force on the obligations related to the prevention of combating of money laundering, the financing of terrorism, and the illegal transfer of funds across borders. The Deputy Prime Minister then explained the contents of the evaluation report and the interim plan of action. The cabinet then approved a report by the Minister of Health regarding approving 16 public and private hospitals that comes under ensuring the high quality of medical institutions' performances. The cabinet then approved two draft laws on one establishing the National Committee to Combat Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, headed by the Minister of Health, and the second on issuing the Executive Regulations of Law 1 of 2017 on prevention of acquired immunodeficiency syndrome and the protection of the rights of people living with it. The cabinet then referred a memorandum to the Ministerial Committee of Legislation Affairs, a report by the Minister of Health on forming a committee to combat smoking and all its forms. The cabinet approved the government's proposal on installments due during the month of Ramadan. The cabinet then discussed the positive outcomes of the fifth summit on collective interaction and building measures in Asia that was held in Tajikistan and attended by the Minister of Foreign Affairs on behalf of His Majesty the King. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the sixth meeting of the Olympic Committee. His Highness praised the efforts exerted by the General Secretariat and all the executive bodies of the Olympic Committee to support and sponsor the sports movement. The meeting resulted in a number of important decisions where His Highness directly as directed a study for the establishment of a sports hospital with the necessary facilities as well as information centers for athletes. His Highness also directed to launch the Khaled bin Hamad Grant program for elite athletes. The Secretary General of the Olympic Committee, Mohammed Hassan al-Nasr, provided an executive explanation of the future work mechanism in the committee to develop the administrative and financial work. He also provided details regarding the measures taken to reduce operating expenses and attract companies to support the projects, as well as enable the committee's role to create joint strategic relations with different international Olympic committees. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received today the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the UAE, Lieutenant General Hamad bin Mohammed Thani Rumehi. In the presence of the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, and the Secretary Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and a number of senior BDF officers. The BDF Commander in Chief praised the strong relations between Bahrain and the UAE and praised both countries' leaders to ensure the continuous development of these relations. He also praised the bilateral cooperation in all fields and the joint coordination between the two countries, especially in the military field. He also discussed a number of topics of mutual concern. His Royal Highness of Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, deputized the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, to attend the 28th graduation ceremony of Ibn Khaldun National School graduation, which was attended by a number of royal family members and senior officials. The Southern Governor conveyed the congratulations of His Royal Highness the Premier to the graduates and their parents, who are at the start of a new phase in their studies, praising the Bahraini youth for their honorable achievements in all fields. He praised the youth's keenness on achieving further growth and progress for this country under the care and support of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He expressed honor in the responsibility of managing the affairs of the Southern Governorate from serving the area to maintaining its security and gains, underlining the Governorate's long-standing and deep-rooted heritage cultural milestones. He expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and wished the graduates further success. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al Naimi, praised the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, affirming his support to the education in Bahrain and his promotion for the investment in the private education sector, noting that education is the pillar which supports progress and development. He also praised the interests of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali as well as the efforts of the members of Ibn Khaldun National School, wishing the graduates further success. The president of Ibn Khaldun National School, Kamal Abdul Noor, delivered a speech in which he expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his patronage of the 28th graduation ceremony, as well as for His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali's attendance. The Southern Governor then distributed the school diploma certificates to the students of the batch of 2019.
The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of Bahrain's Tourism and Exhibitions Authority's Board of Directors, Zahid Zayani, headed the Bahraini delegation for the 110th United Nations World Tourism Organization Executive Council meeting, which includes 35 countries. During the session, issues and topics related to tourism were discussed, including the Secretary General's report, the general program of work, as well as the financial report in the Azerbaijani capital of Baku. The meeting also discussed the organization's vision for the global tourism sector for the year 2030 and outlined the sector plans and priorities for the next two years. Bahrain was selected last year as a member of the executive board of the World Tourism Organization. The choice was made in recognition of the efforts of the kingdom in developing the tourism sector at a local level as well as its potential to represent the Middle East because of its developing tourism sector and its position as an international tourist destination. The minister noted that the meeting aims to discuss the key challenges and opportunities in the tourism sector and to share experiences and create solutions for the development of this vital sector. He expressed interest in seeking to strengthen relations with the member of the Executive Council in order to achieve the goals of the World Tourism Organization and benefit from experience of countries to promote the presence of tourism in the gross domestic product and raising the ceiling of his contribution to higher levels.